Hello CPC members and friends and welcome to our online devotional for Tuesday, December 29. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you have had a wonderful celebration of Christmas Day and I hope that as we continue through these days of the season of Christmas that you will sense the presence of God and the newborn Christ in your life in a very real way. This time of year, this, this week between Christmas Day and New Year's Day, uh, for me has always been kind of a, a special time of the year. Uh, it's a time that I personally like to use as an opportunity to reflect on the year past and think a little bit about the coming year. And hopefully in that time of reflection, uh, come up with some ways perhaps to uh, live differently and, and, and better in the coming year based upon mistakes and regrets from the past year. Perhaps uh, you do the same sort of thing, looking back, looking forward during this time between Christmas Day and New Year's Day. My intention for the devotions uh, this week, today, Tuesday the 29th, and as well on uh, Thursday the 31st, is to, to help me and you together reflect upon the year past and the coming year using a couple of prayers written by Kenneth Pfeiffer, who uh, died in 1985, but he was for many years the uh, pastor at St. Charles Avenue Presbyterian Church in New Orleans. He's written several books and uh, uh, different books of prayer, and I've, I found his, his work to be very, very helpful. So again, my intention is for today and for Thursday, on each of those two days, to share one of his prayers that I think speak to uh, what I've been talking about, this, this time of reflection on the year past and the coming year. So the prayer for today is, I come face to face with you, O God. Please join me now in this prayer. Eternal God, make these moments of prayer a time for genuineness. I spend so much of my time keeping up appearances. Let me just be myself for a while. I do not have to smile now if I do not feel like smiling. I do not have to say anything to you I do not mean. I do not even have to make any promises. No one but you is looking at me, and you see past my smile. No one but you is listening to my heart talk, and you sort out what I mean from what I say. I am just who I am and what I am, no better, no worse. I grow tired of being phony so much of the time, of professing interest in things in which I have no interest, of chattering away because I fear the silence, of acquiescing in opinions I inwardly detest. I confess that I relate to others on false bases and project distorted images because honesty frightens me. Even with you, O oh God, I observe my prayers and I carefully try to hide my doubts, my uncertainties, my fears. I say the things I have been taught. For a time, let me be sincere and open. I am not very good. I am not even sure I want to be good but I do want to live more abundantly, to love more completely, to know more joy in being alive. Those feelings are genuine, O oh God. Touch me now with your Holy Spirit, that I may be made more receptive to the abundance that is all around me, to the love that is offered me, to the joy of being your child, Give me a sense of appreciation for others and the discernment to look beyond their pretenses to see hearts that are much like mine. Give me the persistence to keep seeing beyond the defenses by which they protect themselves. Let me even see through the reserve of strangers, for each of us needs others. 
let me not be so easily put off by the angry words of those closest to me with whom I have quarreled. Keep me sensitive to the knowledge that anger often conceals hurt, that aloofness disguises insecurity. I pray, loving God, that today I may carry a new commitment to authenticity into all of my relationships in life because I have paused and prayed and waited through these moments. May I be more myself than I was, more accepted and accepting, less given to pretense. May I go forth to participate to a greater degree in the transparent openness of our Lord Jesus Christ, who knew people and loved them, not always for what they pretended to be or even for what they wanted to be, but for what each person is, a child of God. Amen. I hope that that prayer can be as meaningful for you as it is for me. And thank you again for tuning in today. I look forward to sharing another one of Kenneth Pfeiffer's prayer with you this coming Thursday, New Year's Eve. In the meantime, God's peace and blessings to all of you. Goodbye.